Now let's build a simple MechViz project. The project will guide the robot to pick and place small metal workpieces repeatedly. We need to configure the robot and the scene models and then build the workflow. Finally, simulate and run. Let's look at the scene objects and the tool center point. To avoid collisions with surrounding objects during picking and placing, we need to add models of the tool and the surrounding objects. In this video, the tool is an expansion gripper. TCP refers to the tool center point, usually the point at the tip of the tool. The TCP needs to be set on the tool according to where the tool touches the workpieces. Next, we will introduce the specific operations. Before building the MechViz project, make sure to complete the master control communication configuration and successfully connect to the robot. First, configure the tool. Add the tool model in OBJ format to the model library. Enter the information in tool configuration and set the TCP. The TCP is by default at the end flange of the robot but it must be adjusted to match the actual tool center point. To prevent the robot from colliding with other objects during moving, it is necessary to add the scene objects models. In practice, the bin is not fixed in one position. So it is necessary to make a bin model that is consistent with the actual one in the scene. Set the object name as picking bin, the scene model type as bin, and the object dimensions to be consistent with the actual bin. We can input the bin's pose, or drag to adjust the bin's pose to make it consistent with the actual bin. We make the placing bin model in a similar way. After configuration, Click Sync Robot to let the simulated robot have the same pose as the real robot. After completing the preparations, let's organize our ideas for setting up the workflow. The first step is to move the robot to the initial pose using the fixed point move step. The second step is to trigger the MechVision project through the Vision Look step. The MechVision project makes the camera capture images of the workpieces and processes the images to obtain the pick points. Following the vision look step, we can add a check look step to confirm whether there is a vision result. The third step is to move to the approach waypoint. When picking a workpiece, if the robot moves directly from its current pose to the pick point, it may collide with the bin or other workpieces. Therefore, we usually need to set an approach waypoint, that is, to let the robot reach above the pick point using a relative move step. The fourth step is to pick a workpiece. First, use the vision move step to make the robot reach the pick point and then use the set DO to control the tool. Add a weight step to ensure that the workpiece is firmly gripped before the robot moves again. The fifth step is to let the robot lift the workpiece. Use a relative move step to let the robot move upwards to the departure waypoint. The sixth step is to place the workpiece. Use a fixed point move step to set where the workpiece should be placed. Here we specify where the workpiece should be placed by setting the robot pose in TCP when placing the workpiece. Then, use steps set DO and wait to let the robot move the held workpiece to where it should be placed and retract the tool to release and place the workpiece. In the end, to achieve repeated pick and place, we need to connect the exit of the wait step to the move to initial pose step. Based on the above project construction ideas, we build a workflow by dragging and connecting the illustrated steps from the step library in sequence. As an example, for fixed point move, find this step in the step library, Hold down the left mouse button and drag it to the workflow editing workspace, then select the exit of start, hold down the left mouse button and connect it to the entry of step fixed point move. After adding all the steps and completing the connections, we start setting step parameters. First, set the initial pose of the robot to make the robot approach the work area without obstructing the camera's view.
Next, in the Visual Look step, set the Vision service name and choose the Mech Vision project created in the fourth video vision solution deployment. Executing this step triggers the corresponding Mech Vision project and obtains the vision result. Step relative move 1 moves the robot to the approach waypoint. The approach waypoint's reference waypoint is that of vision move, so we set the parameter relative move dependency to next waypoint. For example, this waypoint can be located 200 mm above the workpiece. When setting the waypoint, select the tool reference frame and offset the Z value negatively by 200 mm in the tool reference frame. Next, we expand the gripper to pick. In the parameters of step set DO, set DO port to 1, and set digital out value to 1. Please note the parameters values should be determined based on the actual on-site conditions. To make sure the gripper firmly holds the workpiece, we need a wait step after the set DO that expands the gripper. The default waiting time is 1000 millisecond, but it can be adjusted according to the actual situation. The relative move to step is used to make the robot pick up the workpiece and move to the departure waypoint. The departure waypoint's reference waypoint is that of vision move, so we set the parameter relative move dependency to previous waypoint. The settings of the other parameters are the same as the move step of the approach waypoint. Step fixed point move 2 is to let the robot move the workpiece to where it should be placed. When the robot moves to the placing waypoint, we need to retract the gripper to release the workpiece. For step set DO, set the DO port to 1 and digital out value to 0. The parameter settings of the wait step are the same as those mentioned earlier. After completing the setup of the workflow, we can view the simulation results. Confirm that the virtual robot can repeatedly pick and place properly, and then click Run to move the real robot. Attention! The operator should closely monitor the movement status of the robot and press the E-Stop button immediately in case of an emergency. Now we have completed the lesson for guiding the robot to pick and place.